Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today we're going to be talking about the one and only governor of the independent nation known as the Republic of West Florida. So, today's subject, his name was Fulwar Skipwith. I'll say that again. His name was Fulwar Skipwith. It's a great name, and we all have to learn to live with that. Anyway, Mr. Skipwith was about 16 years old when he dropped out of college and went to fight with the Continental Army. Fortunately for him, he was a little bit younger than most founders, so he basically went to Yorktown, saw the war get won, and went back home. Uh, pretty easy as far as being a revolutionary goes. Anyway, uh, shortly thereafter, he becomes a merchant and goes into private business and sails to London, where he trades mostly in tobacco. His father and many of his friends, he was a distant cousin of Thomas Jefferson, very distant, um, but uh, many of his friends and family in Virginia, of course, grew tobacco on the back of slave labor, and he went to Europe to profit off that, and it was very profitable. So Skipwith is there for a while. Eventually, Washington becomes president and names him as an American consul, which is a, an official diplomatic position. And not too long after, James Monroe becomes minister to France, and Skipwith goes and works under him as consul general in Paris, which is one of the highest ranking diplomats in Europe, especially at the time. So unfortunately, Monroe doesn't really impress Washington and gets recalled, and that reflects poorly on Skipwith, but he stays in Europe on business for several more years uh, until shortly after the Louisiana Purchase, he returns to North America, and he goes to West Florida. It's modern day, it's in Louisiana, but at the time, uh, there was East and West Florida. What we know basically is Florida today with parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. That area on the Gulf there was two colonies and later, well, never two states, two colonies, uh, East and West Florida. Uh, when he arrives, it's just after the Louisiana Purchase, which I'll remind you, France bought from Spain and America bought from France before the Spanish could leave. So the area is occupied, specifically West Florida, where he goes, is occupied by the Spanish. But after the Revolutionary War, many loyalists in the South fled to this area to start new lives. And just before Skipwith gets there, there's an influx of Americans because America just bought this land. So you have one-third Spanish, one-third loyalist, and one-third American. And they're all there, and let's just say it doesn't go well, and tensions broil over, and it ends up breaking out into basically a civil war, a very brief, fairly hostile bunch of engagements between three competing parties. Now, the Americans, who Skip With was associated with, took over. They won. And what did they do? They declared an independent state, and they named Full War Skip With as their governor. Now, I've seen him called president, but it's my understanding he was not made a president. He was made a governor. And the idea was, as Americans in American territory, they weren't really interested in having an independent republic of West Florida. They were interested in having the state of West Florida in the United States. So, Skipwith's goal, and, and the other men who uh, revolted with him and created this nation... Their goal was to eventually become a state. They just wanted a little bit of leverage by taking it over themselves for getting in. Because the fear was that the United States would just come in and say, well, no, you're part of Louisiana territory, you're just a territory. And there were a lot of benefits that came with being a state over a territory. So, James Madison is president when all this happens. And James Madison isn't super excited to hear this. First of all... Spain was a, especially this area of Spain in the New World, was a major supporter that helped the United States win the revolution. On top of that, you know, tensions had been a little high over the ensuing years, as it was in international diplomacy in, in general. So, Madison is not very excited that, well, now I have these Americans in Spain, and I don't want to have to send an army into Spain, because I don't want to bother Spain. But I also can't let these Americans be speaking for us as if they're Americans. They're saying they're independent, but clearly they're Americans. So 
Not happy, James Madison does decide to send troops in and suppress the rebellion. And he does. And when the troops get there, Skip With and his, his buddies are basically like, hey, hey, we're on your side. We just want to be a state. Let us be a state. And they said, no. <laughs> no, no, no. This is not how you go about it. You don't just get to demand to be a state in the Union. You have to go through the processes, which it can be argued that they did. They're, they had the population was the, basically the right amount. They had written a constitution and been a republic. Like they had followed most of the rules, but they just did it all the wrong way. And as we know, in hindsight, there is no West Florida. Uh, what the area that Skip With was leading was actually part of Louisiana and part of uh, Mississippi today. So, and again, there was no Mississippi yet at this point. There's no Alabama. There was no Florida. There was just the Louisiana Territory, and it's like 1810. So, uh, you know, 16 states, 17 states, somewhere around there. Uh, I'd have to look it up. Um, but in uh, in the end, Fowler Skipwith was the one and only governor of the Independent Republic of West Texas a position he held for 12 days. Yes, he ran a country for 12 days. Anyway, that's the interesting life of Full Wars Skip With. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to hit like, and if you're new here, please hit subscribe. I put out a video like this five days a week talking about fun founders that are underappreciated. And Full Wars Skip With is underappreciated just because no one knows his amazing name. Uh, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with another video tomorrow, and you have a great afternoon.